only 11. Um, I've just had some rubbish removal. Pass and come down. Um, and I was in a rush to get Lowen out the door, so I thought this rain suit that Lowen's the dog ripped. I thought I'd just chuck that on him. Well, I put it on and the zip was broken, so I just had to sellotape it just around his waist. So that's going in the bin in a minute. But over here, let me show you. And so this has been, I've been needing to get rid of this for fucking ages. Look, at, I'm still in my pyjamas, I'm absolutely lagged. Um, I went out for a nap with Lowen, and then my uncle turned, it's my uncle that does the rubbish removal, he turned up. Um, but look. Oh, that tumble dry, all that crap that was there, all those old fence panels. Okay, excuse in the bag, because obviously I, that's what I put my hay in. It's cleared all that area. Amazing. So much better. The place still looks like a bomb's hit it, but I'm getting there now. I feel like I've actually done something. So yeah, that's done. All the rubbish is gone. Day 11, I think. UK lockdown. Leading Jack. Pushing low in. Taking Jack and Bella to the top yard. I know. Good boy. Bella is being led by Lynn. So yeah, I might need two hands because holding a phone, pushing around with one hand, I'm doing a good job really. Anyway, I'll show you when we get to the other side, when we release them, our video. Been a good girl, Bells? Yeah, good boy. Good girl. Us as well, two horses, a baby, and three dogs. <sighs> Jack and Bella in pastures new. Two, wee Bella. Let's so bring them down some water. All right, you happy? Beautiful boy. Indy, whoa, 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 watch me. Get out, dickhead. Dog! Hey? No, she's alright. Jack's gone here. Do you want to rug off? I can't take it off, darling. You might get cold. So that should really love a roll. Tomorrow I'll come up. You can have it off for an hour in a roll. All right. Take it off tomorrow. Plenty of grass for you two, isn't there? What do you reckon? Happy? This field just gets so cold when the wind comes from this direction. Because it hasn't got like a lot of shelter, but it's got grass. Clean your legs off. And actually it's not that cold. It's not that cold today, is it? No, not that cold. That's old water, Jack. I'm bringing you fresh in a minute. Where's the hose and I'll start doing it? In my car. Uh, oh, oh, right. <laughs> I've got to go back and get in my car. All right. Good girl. He always drinks, they, like, every time I bring him up, he comes up and he drinks this shitty water that's been in it. It's like just rainwater. Yo. You wouldn't drink it if it was horrible. Do you like that it's horrible water that's been in there for ages? Just rainwater. I'm back at the field. Haven't done a lot of video in. Lowen's been out because I'm rushing around. I don't want Lowen to get cold. Just bought myself a new wheelbarrow. Lovely. And I've got one of these bag things that you put in the wheelbarrow, you fill up the bag with water, and then you wheel this to the field, and then what you should be able to do is basically like tip it into a bucket. Right? That is the plan. So um, I've moved Jack and Bella up. I'm going to have to do some more video in it for you guys tomorrow, just simply because Lowen's knackered. Um, ooh, come on. Um, so I don't want him out too much longer, to be honest. Um, I don't want to fall asleep in the car either, really. Um, so I'm going to leave him in the car just while I do this water a minute for the horses. Um, so I've got a surprise announcement. We've got a new horse coming tomorrow, guys. I know, Joe's stupid. But basically, um, I've brought a horse, but for Lynn, 
my friend who owns Bella in exchange for Bella. So basically, I've bought Bella. Um, so I've picked, I bought this horse. I know Lynn liked this horse anyway. I brought it in exchange for. Uh, basically, this is going to be Lynn's new horse. And um, oh, that's my little Bella Rella. Oh, beautiful girl. Um, how do I rotate it again now? There so yes, Bella is staying. Bella is a part of the NVF family. Are you gonna come up and have some drink? Hopefully she'll come up in a minute. I don't water so much in the field they can come in and out for it. We will see. Um, and then I can sort of move everything around then tomorrow. Well, Lolo, come out with me. Are you coming, darling? I love this little mare. Bella! Get the fuck off and stop in right here. Jack! Have a nice hello. Come on. How cute. So what I might do... Jack! I hear them calling me because they love me so much. I'm going to do your water here. Do you want to come in for it? Or have I got to bring it out to the field? If you can come in, that'll be Andy. Jack, don't make faces at her. Look at your grass, you lucky horses. Jack! It's an asshole. I think I'm still going to take it around. Going to need two hands. Just filling up. I can't remember how many litres this thing is. This bag. H2O bag, it says. H to go. How bloody handy. Uh, easy transportation of water. 80 litres. So that should pretty much fill that bucket, shouldn't it? Once this is... Oh, well, it would help if the hose hadn't fallen out of the bag. Cheers, hose. Cheers. You're eating. Oh, that's fucking handy, isn't it? Hang on. I think one going in the bucket. So apart from what I left, that bag basically filled with that bucket. It's quite a big tub. I've got some carrots. I forgot to give you that now for feeding up. You're such good horses. Oon carrot for Jack. Oon carrot for Bella. Look at all the grass you've got, you lucky, lucky horses. Aren't you lucky you're going to be living with me for a long time? Huh? What good life are you going to have? Basically treat like a horse, never get ridden. <laughs> like you care. Right, so I will come back and check you later. You're a good boy, you're a good girl, you've got grass, you've got water, there's also water in the yard. Just gotta walk through over there so I can go through. A bit muddy. And then tomorrow I'm gonna fence this off so they can't walk in and out because that's gonna get really muddy. And then I'll lead them in and out of this gate to that gate put them in the yard at night but I'm not gonna put them in the yard tonight they got some grass tonight and then as of tomorrow you'll be in have your feed Haley's in the yard be turned back out in the field in the day these padlocks are really good um, basically it's an alarmed padlock so if anyone was to cut through that it would sound this really loud alarm um, so yeah that is my padlock I'm proud of. So I've got them water here. They've got water out in the field. Uh, I've completely left you hanging. So um, about this new horse. I'm just like wandering around. So um, the new horse is a two-year-old. Connemara cross worn by Thoroughbred. Extremely well-bred. Beautiful. Um, so I brought her for Lynn. She's only a two-year-old. But she's called Dottie Odette. And she is being delivered to mine tomorrow. Um, so I will introduce her to her when she comes. And what is happening is she's going to stay with me for a few months um, until Lynn's ground has dried up a bit. Um, so that she can have a separate paddock, etc. up there. So yeah, we're going to have a new pony joining us for um, a couple of months. So that's fine. Jack and Bella are up here loving life. All that grass. And um, so yeah, I, obviously I'll fill you in properly tomorrow. But I need to get my tired little boy home now. Um, do you want a nap, darling, for tea? That might be a plan. I'm absolutely filthy. Just stay with me. Um, so yeah, I will fill you all in some more tomorrow. Just put your wind up, darling. 
um, and I'll see you then. Bye.